Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a look at a pocket tool that I picked up while I was at Blade Show. I actually got a chance to see the prototype version of this pocket tool, so when I saw the finished version at Blade Show, I quickly picked one up and uh, decided to add it to my EDC to see how it would hold up. And I'm glad to say that after two weeks of nonstop use, it's definitely held up very, very nicely. This is the Griffin Pocket Tool. And I've noticed that lately, a lot of companies have been putting out uh, pocket tools. Uh, they've become very, very popular. But in my opinion, um, a lot of the pocket tools that are out in the market now uh, are you know, some, somewhat gimmicky. They, they tend to uh, model them after different things and they kind of forget the tool aspect of the pocket tool itself. One of the things that gravitated me towards this particular one is the fact that majority of the tools on the tool itself are things that I find myself using pretty much on a daily basis. So it works great for my EDC purposes. The tool itself comes in a couple different finishes. You have a stone wash and polished stainless steel finish, carbon fiber, or titanium. And I do believe that titanium can also be anodized in a couple of different colors. So, uh, you know, it does give you a couple of different options. So I'll go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it. It comes with this card that kind of showcases the uh, different tools that are on the pocket tool itself. I believe it's up to 11 different tools. Starting from the top here, you have a scoring tool, which is great if you have to mark any type of surface or score, um, metals, woods, and things like that. It definitely holds up really, really nice. Uh, it's nice and robust. Comes to an okay tip, so it definitely gives you a lot of options. Uh, you have a 516 hex key right here, which also doubles as an area to either put a lanyard on or a split ring if you do want to attach the tool to your keys. On the side right here, you have a tool that actually serves two purposes. One, it's a bit driver, so you can actually um, you know, attach this to a bit and turn it. And then also a bottle opener. Uh, I find myself using the bottle opener pretty often, and I can safely say that it, um, it works every time, and it hasn't loosened up or chipped out or anything like that. On the side right here, you have another tool that actually serves two purposes. The first one is obviously a pocket clip. So this is really cool because if you do attach this to your keys using a split ring through the hex key right here, uh, you can um, attach this to your pants or to a belt loop and then have your keys readily accessible as well. So it, it's, that's a really cool feature. And then the other one is obviously the different hex keys that go throughout there. Now the, um, the scalloping right here of the hex keys actually allow for the tool itself to hold in place. So you don't have to worry about if you are using it as a clip your keys falling out or anything like that if you're sitting down. On the end right here, you have a pretty robust flathead screwdriver that also doubles as a pry tool. And I think that right there is one of the other tools that I really do enjoy using on the uh, Griffin tool because um, it, it, it's very wide, but it's big enough to where I don't feel like the tool is going to buckle or break under the pressure if I do have to pry something pretty heavy or anything like that. And for a small tool, um, almost three inches, uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick, uh, that's really a good thing. You know, it, you, the last thing you want is to have a pocket tool uh, in your pocket on your keys, and when you go to use it, it break or it just doesn't, uh, you know, hold up to what it is that you're going to want to be doing from it. You also have some very, very functional jimping on either side, which, uh, especially if you're using the hex drivers here, um, you know, it gives you good purchase on the tool your fingers do lock on there and it's not going to slip or slide or anything like that so again um i think that as far as a lot of the pocket tools that are out on the market now this one definitely because of all the uses that you have on all the tools on it and also mainly the price point i think that is a really big thing um i think for what you're getting it's uh, depending on the you know different finishes they are priced very very reasonable um, I think you're, you're going to get definitely um, your money's worth by picking up one of these Griffin pocket tools. Again, you have uh, up to 11 different tools in a very small, um, very compact form factor that you can attach to your keys. Um, you can throw a lanyard on there, paracord lanyard or whatever, and you know drop it into your pocket. And it serves a uh, dual purpose by having the clip right there. So if you do attach your keys and clip it onto your pocket, then you're good to go and you always have it handy. So there it is. This is the Griffin Pocket Tool. If you guys are interested in picking one up or finding out some more information, check them out at griffinpockettool.com. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.